be. Get you in and get you out on the 30. It is now 2.30. Praise God. I pray too long. Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Wednesday, May the 15th, 2024. We are reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the first verses, and it reads, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed. And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now there are diversities of gifts but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administration but the same Lord. And there are diverse diversities of operations but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of the healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, and to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these work at that one and the selfsame spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also are Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bound or free, and have been all made to drink, into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. Not the foot shall say, because I'm not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I'm not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? And if the whole body were an eye, <laughs> where were the hearing? And if the whole were hearing, what were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it had pleased him. And if they were all one member, where, would the, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more these mem those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow a more abundant honor and our comely part, our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need. But God hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacketh. That there should be no schisms in the body, that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, we are the body of Christ, and members in particular. And God has set some in the church first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, and then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret? But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet shew I unto you a more excellent way. Chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. 
And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Now charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself and is not puffed up. It doth not behave itself unseemly. It speaketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Now whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. For when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now, by the faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity, love. Chapter 14. Now follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy, for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, albeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesies speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesies edifieth the whole church. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearers, and me, the reader, of this precious and sacred word of God. We're going to stop right here. Uh, we read up to Corinthians 14, chapter, and the fifth verses, but tomorrow I'm going to start back at the beginning. Because we want to get all this good meat. all it to, So we don't want to break the meal up. Praise God. All right, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you who continue to come by and have your lunch with me, with us, right? So when you come by, this is all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. If all of these various platforms that we are ministering across would simply do this, if you would simply do this, I would be blessed, blessed, and blessed. But the word of God does say that in those last days, a love of many was going to just wax cold. Folks like, I ain't thinking about you, child. I ain't giving you my money. That's okay. I understand. I understand. But I do have another way that you can be a blessing. There is another way that you can be a blessing. The beautiful pieces of jewelry. The beautiful pieces of jewelry that you see me wear every day. Seven minute bling. Look how we spell the seven. S-E-V, number seven in. S-E-V, number seven in. Go to sevenminutebling.com. Sevenminutebling.com. Shop until you drop. Be a blessing. If you weren't nice to mother on Mother's Day, you didn't got, get mother nothing, you didn't have no money, you couldn't get her nothing, you can spend $20. And go on this platform and get her a beautiful set or two of the $5 jewelry. Praise God. So we can do that. I encourage you to come back on the opposite of little O platform. Beagle. <laughs> come back and read the commentary. Stay with us all day. We're here from um, noon. I come on use about 30 minutes, an hour before noon on that platform. And then we read on through until the commentary until 2, 3, 4 in the evening. But you're getting a full meal and you're getting a good understanding of the word of God. God bless you. Until the next read.